Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what's going on in your love life. Okay, so I feel like in this situation, there's a lot of heavy energies that are showing up. This particular card is in reverse position. Now, this is an energy which is talking about a lot of things that have been happening in your love life. And it feels like there was a time when one individual may have been making a lot of reckless moves, okay? And this is coming from a place of wanting to prove oneself. This is coming from a place of wanting to win, okay? I feel like there may have been an energy year where someone thought that they had the solutions at hand and that everything was going to get resolved according to a certain way but this energy is indicating to me that there's a lot of fluidity in the situation there's a lot of elements here that are not really being understood to its greatest level right and it's coming from behaviors that are not very responsible behaviors that are you know, rooted in doing whatever serves a purpose in the moment, but it's not about long-term thinking. This feels like short-term thinking, okay? It feels like one individual might have been making a lot of short-term decisions in order to please the other person in the moment, but it also feels like there was a, you know, stronghold in the situation because those promises or those elements that could have, you know, really defined this connection, it fell through. It feels like there was a disappointment in the fact that one person wasn't being as authentic and as honest as they could have been, right? So that's what I'm getting from that particular energy. Now, when I look at the next set of cards, I feel like you've made a lot of sacrifices in order to be with this individual, I feel like you were moving, you know, mountains, you might have been going all out of your way in order to ensure that this connection would come together in this beautiful manner. So I am sensing that there were times when you felt as if, you know, you were literally tied to this individual and the experience that you were having in this relationship and that you could do nothing but to hold on. And I feel like your energy is very heavily rooted in trying to find you know, a way through it. Now, the thing that I'm noticing here is that there's a lack of focus. There's a lack of concentration. It feels like the energy of where both you and this individual are 
seeing above the situation, not seeing the main problem at hand. It feels like, you know, this energy that uh, is very difficult because the combination of the cards are showing to me a lot of hidden elements and it's a very, you know, drawn out process in order to get to the truth of the matter. It's very difficult to find your way through it. Now, this individual, I feel like there's an element where they feel defeated by what has happened. Because I feel like they felt a responsibility to bring things together and they couldn't do it. They couldn't bring all of these energies together in the way that they had hoped to. So that is creating a dilemma here. And I feel like you're still there, you know, trying to salvage this connection, trying to bring it out of the element of turmoil that it is experiencing. And that is showing your dedication, your devotion, and the type of person that you are, right? Libra individuals will always see the positive in a situation or try to. Okay, so let's have a look and clarify these energies. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'll be exploring these energies in greater detail. I do feel like this individual feels very defeated. That is being uh, the biggest message that is uh, playing in my head now. Yeah, look at this. Things didn't go the way they had wanted it to. So I feel like this individual may have made you promises that they couldn't keep. They may have done things in the spur of the moment because they felt like that's what you needed to hear and that what that is what uh, you know was going to please you in that moment there's also another way of looking at these energies right if they didn't you know make those empty promises and not keep their word it's also the fact that they felt a greater responsibility to bring things together and they didn't do it in a way that they had wished they had done so now there's these elements of regret and worry that is in the back of their mind because they failed. That's what I get. Now, this card is in reverse position. It feels like there's an energy of insecurity that's coming through. There's an inability to truly enjoy this connection because of all these uh, shadowy aspects of doubt, fear, insecurities, illusions, right? And this feels like a drawn out process. It's like having a migraine and it's ongoing. It just never ends. That's what I feel is, uh, you know, uh, circulating between you and this person right now. And this is it's a very difficult type of energy. I feel like a lot of you have felt very tied to this individual just because of the memories that you share with this person. They're very beautiful memories. I do pick that energy up and I feel like you couldn't give up on them. And there's something that's tying you to this person. is in reverse it's talking about the fact that in the situation you know the roots of this connection is not really being explored so the roots of the problem are not really being understood and 
you know there's a lack of that balancing energy that is needed that's why this particular card showed up in reverse position it talks about a very airy situation where there's a lot of thoughts but very little action and there's an element of disappointment right sometimes a person can want to do x y and z for another individual and if they don't you know keep their promises if they don't measure up at least 78% or 80% of the time, it builds up this, you know, unnecessary energy that creates all of this chaos and disruption that both you and this individual are experiencing at this point. There are insecurities coming up as a result of this. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. What I'm going to be looking at is this individual's energy. What are they feeling? What are they thinking? What are they going through? How do you break this pattern and cycle that has been established between both you and this individual? Because I feel like you have a lot of fond memories for this person. The energies right now are bringing up a lot of insecurities. This individual feels as if they failed you to a certain extent. But I feel like there's an element of helplessness connected to their energy because, you know, they don't really know how to maneuver out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I'll also be exploring the right strategy and providing advice. Have a wonderful day and take care.